Hello, today we're going to focus on using a puzzle and working with some communication buttons. As you'll see, I do not have the actual buttons here at home, but I'm using a tray and two PEX pictures. So the first being I want to play and the second being all done. To start out having the tray with the communication pictures or buttons attached, Get some type of container with a closed lid and then the puzzle. So start out by assisting your child to remove each of the puzzle pieces. This can be done even by placing uh, your hand over their hand or under their hand to grab each of the pieces off the board. Open the container. So for each piece removed, assist your child in placing them into the container. This is great for that releasing of an object into a designated space. Uh, that's also great for fine motor as well. So remove each of the pieces. Again, assisting your child as much as needed. Placing each into the container. Again, there's a lot of pieces that go into this activity. So this is just also a great way to manage those pieces. So now you have the empty PEX, uh, the puzzle board, along with the full container. Place that container near the I want to play button. This will encourage your child to select that button and be more accurate with hitting the I want to play. So once the I want to play is activated, you can then give the container to your child have him or her attempt to open it and then you can even give a little help by op beginning to open the container and then having him finish opening it. So now pulling it off, maybe even just having it be just that he has to pull it. Once he pulls it off, encourage him to then remove one piece at a time. So remove this one. So look, oh look, a fire truck. Name the object, have him hold it, in his hand with some assistance, and then you can sing a little song. So the ladder on the truck goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The ladder on the truck goes up and down, all through the town. At this point, then present the puzzle board again and assist your child, put it right near where that truck goes and then assist your child in sliding that piece in. Again, whatever assistance your child needs, whether it be hand or um, underhand assistance, that's completely fine, just to complete that activity. If these puzzle pieces are difficult to manage, for the next one, you can actually just remove it, um, and that's fine. Put it in behind you or something so that the pieces do not become distracting. Present that container of puzzle pieces again by placing it near the I want to play button. Once the I want to play button is activated, I want to play, then hand your child the container again. You can have him attempt to open the container um, by twisting or, or pulling it off. If he seems to struggle, you can loosen that container a bit or begin to open it and then again have him remove the top. Give a little gesture uh, prompt to have him remove it and then assist him in removing another piece. All right, and then again, you can sing a little song. It helps to keep that engagement and encourage that eye contact. So the people on the plane go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the plane go up and down all through the town. Take that puzzle board again. Again, it's empty, that's totally fine. Placing it near the puzzle, um, where the puzzle should go, and then assist your child in sliding that puzzle piece in. And you can even say, yay, you did it. And you can again remove that puzzle piece so that it doesn't become distracting. Just like we've done the last few times, then place the container near the I want to play. Once I want to play is selected, I want to play, your child then receives the container with the puzzle pieces. Assist in the remove of the top and 
have your child remove another puzzle piece. So the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. And once again, that puzzle piece is placed near the spot and you can assist your child in sliding it in. And there you are. Continue this until all of the pieces are out of the container and the puzzle is complete. You can definitely take breaks in between, maybe do some motor activities, go for a little walk, uh, jump on a little trampoline, anything to keep him engaged. I would say maybe do two puzzle pieces and then take a little walk or do a little motor activity. Come back to your spot and complete a couple more of the puzzle pieces. That way he doesn't become bored with the activity and it still seems exciting each time he's able to select a new puzzle piece. So again, this was really just focusing on that I want to play using a puzzle.